What's up guys? It's Kelsey and Erin. Chill. And today our whole topic is on managing stress. Yes. And the reason that we decided to do this video today is because today I was really, really stressed. <laughs> no, but seriously, I just woke up. I mean, the I've been stressed for a little while, but I just woke up so stressed that I just I literally can't do anything. Right? I just I'm sure other people have felt that way. Um, but I mean, there's a lot going on in my life right now. I'm in law school. I'm in my second year of law school, which in and of itself is extremely stressful. Like that on its own is just like crazy. Um, I'm planning a wedding, which gets really stressful when people talk about wedding planning. They ain't lying when they say it's stressful. So those two things together, I think, are the biggest contributors to me being a little bit stressed. And obviously, I have some like extracurricular things as well, um, kind of along with law school and stuff that kind of just, they just add on. Everything adds on. Everything piles up. And it's all really great stuff, but it can definitely cause some stress in life. And so I have been feeling especially stressed, and so I wanted to do... Uh, this video today to give you guys some insight onto what can help um, some tips we have We've got four main tips overall tips that we want to give to you guys that we think can um, help some of our own kind of personal experience um, And tips and then mostly rooted, you know stuff tips from the Bible. Yes, and that's what we're gonna do today Yeah, we're gonna tell you some tips rooted in the word. We know that you guys are going through some crazy things in life It's a wild ride. y'all. It's a wild ride I don't know why I said y'all on the end of that. Anyways, here we go. Let's get into it. Bring us to tip number one. First, get you a glass of orange soda. Can take, I have it? Take a sip. Can I have a sip? Share it with a friend. Mmm. Put it back down. I'm already feeling stress relieved. <laughs> no, okay. So first point that we have is spend time alone with God. And so when we say that, we mean, you know, you're, you're doing that in prayer. You're doing that kind of just, just in the word, just spending time with God. And a verse that we have to kind of back that up is um, Mark 1, starting at verse 35. And it's talking about Jesus. And it says, very, very early in the morning... While it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. And another instance um, of him going into solitude and praying is Luke 5, verse 16. And it says, and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. <clears throat> and another, another version, the NIV version of that same verse says, but Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. I mean, lonely places sounds kind of sad but i think the point of it is jesus spent a lot of time getting away from everyday life getting away from others and just kind of taking that alone time and just praying to god and spending time with him um and i think that's just so important for us to do i mean we all know that jesus had probably the most stressful life ever to live on this planet okay right and so and he handled it so well you know what i mean it sounds like he did it pretty gracefully <laughs> yeah so i just think if we're gonna be taking advice from anybody who lived this life, we should take it from Jesus. And, you know, it talks about how he often did this. He spent that time, you know, and not saying we need to always um, be alone or anything like that. Cause that. That's not true by any means. But it is important to take that time to be alone with God because it is your personal relationship with him at the end of the day. Yeah, I think that goes along with just basically just refocusing yourself, you know. Give yourself some time to get refocused. Get refocused on the actual purpose that you are here for, the purpose why you started whatever job you're going, you're at, the purpose that you that you have in mind for your end goal, you know, and the purpose actually just for um, following Jesus and changing the lives of other, people's ar of other people around you, you know. Get back focused on that. And, and then I think when we start realizing and looking back on that, all of the other issues and, and problems really can start to diminish and look very very small you know in comparison to like you know what your actual real purpose on this earth is um, and if you don't know exactly what your purpose is we just put out a seven different steps um, just for for finding your purpose and um, and that's on YouTube so you can check out that video we'll put the description the link in the description box below yeah on to point number two all right guys so point number two is find community and so the first point we obviously were talking about is spend that alone time with God, but it's also important to find good community. And so, you know, obviously finding a good church, finding um, people who are like-minded like you and are there to encourage you, that kind of thing, 
Jesus, you know, wants us to have relationship with other people. Relationship is such an important and an integral part of our life. And so, um, and Jesus did it. You know, he had so many relationships, and that was so important to him. Okay, so our verse to talk about that is Matthew 26, starting with verse 37. It says, He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. So, in this specific verse, first of all, let's go ahead and point out that Jesus, being, this, being perfect, he said he was sorrowful and troubled, and he said he was overwhelmed to the point of death, okay? So, first of all, a little side note, let me go ahead and say, at the end of the day, we're all human, okay? And it's okay to feel stressed, it's okay to feel down, it's okay to feel things as long as you don't stay there. Because that's not going to help you at all. But like, let's just remember, it's okay to feel these things. Even Jesus felt the, th these things. But he did something about it because he didn't want to stay in that point. So don't let ever, anyone ever make you feel like it's not okay to be stressed or to feel a certain way like that. Because we all feel like that at some point or another. Just remember that you can get out of it. Yeah, and I think the main way he really got out of it too was he when he was in that stressful moment, he really did remember that, hey, I got to pray. I got to get in the word of God, but he didn't say you had to get in the word of God, but the way you get out of that moment is remembering God's words and yeah, remembering I mean, he his did promises. Say, he did say sit here while I go over there and pray. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, but I, anyways, going back to the community aspect of it, I think it's just so important. He took these people with him. Um, you know, so it's just important to surround yourself with people that you can trust, people that can really speak life into you and encourage you. Um, because obviously, you know, he chose not to be alone in this specific instance. Um, and I just think that speaks a lot of just finding good community and not always being alone because if you've ever felt stressed or down or just overwhelmed, you know, you don't always want to be alone. You want those people that are going to lift you up and encourage you and just be there for you. So I think having good community is really important. Yeah, and remember too, other people around you are going through things. Um, so maybe, you know, make sure you are saying encouraging words to, the, to other people, um, you know, because we all like to hear those encouraging words. And I mean, and sometimes whether someone says thank you for them or not, they can mean the world. So make sure uh, also to get outside of yourself and remember that, hey, other people, it's not just me that's going through stressful times. Other people are going through stressful times. So I should be um, considerate and um, conscious about that. And like, hey, let me make sure I shout out a couple of encouraging words to people that are doing good and uh, doing things that I admire, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, so point number three. Here we go. So we're back in the Garden of Gethsemane, right? Yes. Um, it's a pretty pretty famous prayer, and Jesus is like, Lord, uh, take this cup away from me, basically. Like, take if you can find any other way for me not to be crucified and still, you know, get your will done, like, take it away from me. I'm, I'm terrified. Jesus was so stressed out that the Bible says he, his sweat began to drop like drops of blood. So, like, basically he started sweating blood. Okay, so like, I ain't never been that stressed out. So he was crazy stressed out, right? It's just stress, crazy stress. Um, but what he did, he prayed to God, right? So this is the thing we can take away from this is that, hey, you can bring your problems and your issues to God. He's he's a big boy. Like, you can talk to him. You can say, hey, God, this is how I'm feeling. This is what what's going on here. Um, but also, like, remember when you're praying to God, like, remember that, um, remember what his promises are for you. Get in the word. Like, just like, so when you pray stuff, like, that you're not, just praying outlandish stuff that like the Bible has says says nothing about, you know, get in the word, figure out what his promises are for you. So you can pray on those promises and say, Lord, I'm looking for this to happen. I'm looking for this to happen. Like, Lord, and I'm feeling this way about life and things and situations or whatever. But secondly, the thing that I think really probably in this situation also kind of gave Jesus peace about it was remembering that God has everything under control. He has the perfect plan, whether it looks like things are about to go bad for, for you or whatever. Um, he has the perfect plan, okay? Remembering that, like, that gives me so much peace, so much encouragement. So this helps to, like, take so much stress out of my own personal life. Because at the end of this prayer, Jesus says, nevertheless, meaning, like, I know I just prayed all this stuff, God, but at the end of the day, I don't, I, you have all the wisdom, you have all the knowledge, you have the perfect plan, you know? Like, we might not necessarily know everything in from the beginning, but God does, and we can be sure of that. So he has the perfect plan, so like, at the end of the day, like, Lord, just let your will be done for my life, because I know that it is greater than my own plan could ever be. Okay, our fourth point 
number four, is that the Holy Spirit is our counselor. Okay, so when Jesus was leaving, he promised to, that he would leave his Holy Spirit, right? And so what I think is really awesome about that is that we literally have 100% all the time access to the Holy Spirit, which is amazing, right? And so like if we use the Holy Spirit as our counselor, you got a counselor 24 seven, okay? So a verse for this is John 14, starting at verse 26. And this is the Amplified version. I like the way that it kind of explains things um, in this specific verse. So I'm using that, so there's some extra little things. So it says, but the helper, in parentheses, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place to represent me and act on my behalf, he will teach you all things, and he will help you remember everything that I have told you. Peace I leave with you, my perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, to, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it let it be afraid. For some reason, that was exhausting. <laughs> I was like I walked up some stairs. Ooh. All right. Anyways. <laughs> So this verse is packed full with a lot of stuff that I think is really great to remember when you're stressed or overwhelmed. Um, first of all, you know, it's got the whole peace I leave with you, peace I give to you. Um, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't, don't be afraid. All of that really wonderful stuff, which is really great to remember when you're stressed. But specifically talking here about the Holy Spirit as your counselor. I mean, it sits, it sits here and says, it will teach you, he will teach you all things. He will help you remember everything I've told you. That's what a counselor does. A counselor, you sit down with them, you tell them what's going on, and guess what? They sit there and they tell you, okay, well, this is what you need to remember. This is um, what you need to learn. This is a new way to learn how to, to cope with this or to do this. You know what I mean? That's what counselors do. And that's what we've got in the Holy Spirit. It says it right here in the Bible. Um, and so what I like to do, and I think is extremely helpful, is whenever I have an issue, I literally just treat the Holy Spirit as my counselor. So I go and I like to lay out everything that I'm feeling all that stuff and just talk to, to God like he's your counselor because that's what he is. And so also another really helpful thing, I don't know if everybody will like this because it's just I think the way I learn and like the way I think and stuff is I like to get out a piece of paper and kind of write stuff down. And I'm out of breath. I don't know why. I'm like really out of breath. I be fit. She missed last Saturday. <laughs> that's why. Anyway, if you don't know, I be fit know. has a fit camp every Saturday, 10 a.m. Be there, be square, or be, be there. out of breath like Virginia me. Beach. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so something I find really helpful is to take a piece of paper and write down everything you're feeling and kind of just lay it out in front of you and, and kind of just present it to God and be like, this is what I'm feeling, this is what's going on. And I just feel like me personally, he just kind of leads me and kind of just shows me like, this is why you're feeling this way or like this is how it can be you know what i mean it's kind of hard to explain but honestly he truly is like a counselor he really is and it's yeah. just nice to be able to lay all that stuff out in front of him and just kind of analyze it and figure it out just like you would do if you were in a, a, a session with a counselor you know not saying that you shouldn't seek like counselors or like christian counseling or anything like that because i think that is really awesome and a tool god gives us you know to help us in, in, in ways like that. So I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying. You got 24-7 access to a counselor. The best one. Yeah. For and, free. And he has all the wisdom and knowledge that you could ever want. So, yeah. And also as a semi like final point here. I want to say that. You know we. You might have different problems coming from different things. Right. You, a new person may have came into your life. And you're like man that person has bad intentions. I can just feel it or whatever. Right. You know or. Um, the situation at your job is kind of looking like, ooh, this might not turn out right. Remember, remember, remember that you can pray that these problems turn out better than what you're expecting. You don't, you don't have to just accept that, okay, man, I feel so bad about this person. They got some bad motives. I'm just going to accept that and I'm going to expect them, that person to do me wrong. I'm just going to expect that, that the thing at my job to turn out the wrong way, right? You can pray that, hey, God... I just ask that you would just change this person's heart, Lord. If they have any bad motives, please protect me. Um, you know, guide my words with them. Guide their interactions with us. And don't let it be turn out to be what I think it's going to be. Please change this whole situation around, God. Same thing with your thing, thing at your job. Lord, please just turn the situation around. Don't let it be a bad time. You know, I mean, I even do that when I'm about to go over people's house for parties and stuff. I'm like, Lord, please just let us all have great conversations. 
Let it just be a wonderful time. Let, don't, don't let anybody have any arguments or anything like that. Just let us have a great time, you know? But like those things, like we can, sometimes we can tend to just accept that the, the negative outcome will probably happen, you know? Oh man, I'm about to go over to my grandma's house and every time I go over to my grandma's house, everybody gets in a fight or fuss or whatever. You don't have to accept that. You can pray that the things change out for your good, that, th that things change out, turn out for the better. Maybe the reason everybody goes over to your grandmama's house and gets in arguments is because nobody's praying that y'all don't get in any arguments, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm serious, like those, those prayers, I really believe they work so much. Like in my own personal life, I'm just like, I be praying about every, every little situation that I, like I might have a negative thought, I'm like, Lord, please don't let it be turned out that way in Jesus' name. like. And I really believe, my, shoot, my prayers work. So yeah, guys, like stress can really just kind of come for us all, you know. Um, but we both believe that the number one thing is having a relationship with Jesus. So anyways, if you guys want to accept Jesus into your life, he is right here ready and willing for a relationship with you, wherever you are. Um, so if you want to just repeat after me, you just say, Jesus, please come into my life. Come into my heart. I ask that you forgive me for all of my sins and become my Lord and Savior. Um, guide me and help me out in my life. And um, just I just want a relationship with you. And, uh, and we believe if you pray that prayer, you have been changed 100%. His Holy Spirit has come in to your heart and you are changed 100%. You have not, maybe you don't feel anything on the outside or whatever it is, but the Bible says that you are 100% brand new. You are made new, okay? And um, so we got some tips for you. Go ahead and get into a local church. We are here in Chesapeake, Virginia, and we go to Favor Nation Church out here um, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Um, but find a local church to get into. Start reading the Bible. Um, start with the book of John. Um, that book will just really just kind of give you a big, wide, broad picture of who Jesus is and um, just just do you just just get in the word and figure out who God says you are all right guys so we love you so so much and oh. da, 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 da. and don't forget that Aaron has his list of scriptures and thoughts to live by which is really great really helpful um, just a really great thing to look at every day even if you just break it up into parts but don't forget we have that so if you're interested in getting that We'd be happy to send it to you, so you can just um, email us at our email address listed below, or you can send us a DM on Instagram or Facebook. All the information is down below, so go ahead and send us that if you want it, and we will get it to you. For free, and also, please send us send us your prayer request. Knowing that somebody is praying for you is really a blessing as well, you know? Um, so send us your prayer request, and we will be praying for you guys. Also, I got a song out called Breathe In. Go ahead, click, check that out on um, Spotify or iTunes. That thing, we I just know it'll give help to give you some peace and uh, and listen to it in your quiet time or something like that. It's really just about getting alone um, and not worrying about what the things that are going to happen today or tomorrow, basically, and trusting God. Um, so, anyways, and we can put that in the description box below as well. Yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yes. On all the social media platforms. Yeah, we're trying to help everybody get out of stress. Yeah. <laughs> we know you all feel too. All right, guys. We love you. Talk mm -hmm. to you later. Mwah. Mwah.